Hello friends and welcome back to day number two of our 30 day island challenge. We're doing 30 days to create a spooky Halloween island. We just woke up from listening to KK Slider so let's go out and talk to Tom Nook. Okay he's giving us our Nook phone which I will say is very nice of him and of course he has to ruin all of the niceness of moving to an island with giving us a crazy amount of debt. But that will be one of our goals today to pay all of this off. So we'll get to that in a little bit. Okay, I feel like it's official now that we are definitely starting this challenge. We found an island, we talked to Tom Nook, and now we just have to pay off our debt. I do have another goal for today. I do want to get the shop built. So we'll pay off all of our debts and hopefully get Nook's cranny built. So we can start grinding out some miles. We should get some just for coming to the island. So that's a 500 just to start with. And then there are a couple other ones we can do in our phone. So let's make a custom design. Just a little dot will do. There we go. My favorite part, we can take a cute little picture and who knows, this might be our thumbnail for the video series. Let's get a cute one. There we go, so adorable. And then one extra one that we can do in here is to change our passport. And if you've been a viewer of the channel before, you know exactly what I'm gonna be changing. It's gonna be our title and we are gonna go with Festive Papa. Every time I choose that same one and the tradition will continue. So that should have given us a good amount of miles. So for taking the picture, we get 300. For editing our passport, we get another 300. For our custom design, we get 500, which is very nice, a little bit more than 300. And I think that's it. So that's a good start, but we can empty out our mailbox. We should have a couple things. So let's grab all of this. We do have Happy Home Paradise. So we did get the planning photo, which is really cute. And then we got the ACNH switch because I am using my special Joy-Cons. And then lastly, we get a DIY for a workbench. So I'm just going to place the items over here. We can start a collection of items and hopefully these will help us eventually get to three stars. I'm not worried about that today, but might as well start doing something, I guess. And let's go find our villagers to talk to them. Here is Tammy, who I'm actually very scared of, but she should give us another DIY. The Sisterly always gives you a DIY for a leaf umbrella. And then the Jock Villager always gives you a hat of some sort. There's like five that it picks from and it's random. I'm hoping to get the tulip hat, but we'll see which one we get. Oh, and Rod is fishing, so we'll have to talk to him in a little bit, but I guess we can talk to him now just to get the Nook Miles, and then we'll talk to him a little bit later to get the hat. But just for talking to them, we get another 300 miles. This is coming along very nicely. And then one easy one that I always like to do is create a bulletin board post, and I always write the name of the island, so let's do that. It's definitely not my best work, but I think it will do for today. I definitely don't have the greatest penmanship, but that should have given us a few more miles. So let's check. Yep, we get another 300. So that's another easy one. And then while I'm out here, I'm just gonna go ahead and collect all the weeds and cherries. And I'm also gonna find a couple tree branches and then we'll maybe even find the double wasp to get stung by. So I'll do that and I'll come back to see you guys in a little bit. So I managed to do quite a bit while I was gone. We got a whole bunch of weeds plucked and then I grabbed all the cherries. As you can see, I did get stung by the wasps twice. So I should get nook miles for that. I also collected a couple of shells to sell and then I got a shady shakedown and I got a ventilation fan. I don't know what that looks like. So we might or might not be able to use it eventually, but we got it. Um, but right now let's head in and sell all of this junk to Timmy. Okay, I want to sell, I have a whole bunch of stuff for you, Timmy. I'm going to sell all of the weeds and all of the cherries. Um, I guess I'll sell the wasp nest too, just so we can get some money. And then I'm going to sell everything because we have weeds and cherries on the other side of the island. So if we need them, we can always get them later. Plus I'm allowed to use treasure islands and all of that stuff. So I'm not too worried about that, but we got 8.5 thousand mile. Um, bells I mean 
definitely not miles but we got a whole bunch of bells so that's good and i'm gonna buy something from him too probably just the slingshot so let's see what he has to sell he might even have like cute little furniture items i think he usually has two items a camp stove and a barbecue i'll buy the barbecue that's a cute item even though it's twenty-five thousand bells that was kind of expensive but that's okay and then i want to buy a slingshot too that way if we see any balloons we can pop them and get money items diys anything like that that we need and that's gonna be it for right now okay and then before i take the diy workshop i also want to stop by the abd and i want to look at nook shopping because you can get miles for buying something and then sometimes they also have the bandage which i always wear on my character in this game so sometimes they have it very early on which is nice so we'll see if they have it oh they have a flamingo which is really cute outdoor bench it doesn't look like they have they don't have the bandage and they don't have any like um holiday items but i have to buy something what's the cheapest thing to buy one of these shirts um we'll buy this one i guess but we should get miles for that so that's nice okay we should have gotten a whole bunch of nook miles so let's see what we have we get two for greedy weeder so we get 300 plus another 500 i believe yes 500 and then for selling fruit we get a whole bunch so we get 300 for that we sold 39 fruit which is kind of a lot and then for shopping on nook shopping for buying that shirt we get another 300 for buying anything we get some nook miles so we got 300 for selling anything we also get nook miles and we get another 300 and then for getting stung by the wasp i got stung twice so i passed out we get another 300 we're getting a whole lot and then shady shakedown where i got the fan we get another 300 so we are really close to 5,000 already and that's it so yeah i guess we can just take the diy workshop now and then we can catch a whole bunch of bugs and fish i did see a lot of butterflies and dragonflies and like grasshoppers so it shouldn't take us very long to get 10 of each okay so we have a net and a fishing rod now so let's go catch some stuff okay so this must mean that we did hit 10 of the bugs so we should be at 5,000 now because we get 300 for the bugs and then I think we get another 300 for trashing our tool. So that should give us, yes, plenty over 5,000. Um, we could do a couple other ones, but I kind of just want to pay off my loans. So let's go talk to Tom Nook. And I can also donate some stuff to Tom Nook to get the museum. I want to talk about my moving fees. I get to pay off my debt today. I'm ready to pay. And then I have to remember to talk to him again. That way we can upgrade our house because sometimes I fast forward too quickly in time and I don't upgrade my house and then I still have the tent and then I get mad at myself. So let's not do that today. Okay, let's talk to him about our house. I usually go for the black roof, but I wanna see if they have an orange or a purple roof because the color scheme of our island is going to be black, orange, and purple. So if they have an orange roof or a purple roof, I'll probably go for that over the black roof, just so we can be a little bit more festive. See, they have black, so let's see if they have orange or purple. Oh, okay, they do have purple. Let's go for purple then. I'm kind of sad they don't have orange, but I think the door on the house is kind of orange, so I think that fits. Plus, we'll probably upgrade our house to the biggest expansion anyways, but for now, it will be cute to have a little purple house. Okay, so our house is all upgraded. Let's go ahead and give him five creatures. That way we can get the museum and place that down. But I'll do that off camera so you don't have to listen to all of this dialogue. I have acquired the museum. I also got five cosmos, which is exciting because I feel like I usually get red roses and I never use roses. But I also think I unlocked a few other Nook Mile achievements. So let's take a look at that. We also did get Nook Miles Plus. So if we need to grind out, we can do a bunch of this stuff, like catch butterflies, uh, sell stuff, and all that good stuff. But we got this one at least. So we get another 300. And I felt like my phone went off a couple times. Okay, yes. We got moving fees paid too, which is 500. And then let's see, nothing else. Okay, I do wanna get enough miles to get the pocket expansion, which I think is 5,000 miles. 
So we might do a little grinding off screen or I might take you with us. But for now, let's place the museum and I think I want to try to place him on the beach. I don't know if he'll fit though. Oh, dang it. Yeah, he's not going to fit over here. Will he fit on the other beach though? That is a good question. Will it fit right here? I usually place Able Sisters over in this spot, but maybe the museum can fit here too. Oh, okay. It can. Um, This is the spot. I haven't decided yet if I want to expand the museum all the way or keep it in its tent. So if we keep it in the tent, we just have to decorate this little beach because we do have to decorate the entire island, including the beaches. So we might keep it in the tiny tent and then just decorate it around on the beach, which won't be that hard because there's like five tiles over here. Um, but let's see, let's place our flowers down. That way we can get some easy miles. So those are planted. We should get like, what, 150 or something? We get 200, which is nice. Okay, and then I think the next thing I want to do is start grinding out some materials. So I believe I got the DIY for a, an axe. Okay, I do. I have the flimsy axe and I have enough to make three. So let me go do that and then we can start hitting some rocks and trees to try to get some materials for the shop. We probably won't have enough today. Plus, he won't ask to build it today, so we will have to time travel. Axes have been crafted, so let's try to hit this rock as many times as we can. I don't think we can get the eight total hits out of it, but I think we could at least get seven if I move really fast. But I want to see if how much iron I can get today, because we need 30, which is a lot for the beginning of the game. So we start out with three, which is pretty good. And then I think we have two more rocks on the island. Here's another one. Let's see how much we can get. Oh, this one's money rock. So we're not going to get any iron nuggets from this one. But we do have one more on this side of the island. So hopefully we can get some out of that one. But I'll take the money from this one. We will have to pay off all of our loans. So that will be a task. Aha, my final rock. Let's see. Iron nuggets, please. Okay, we only got one iron nugget, so I think that's only four, which is not that much, honestly. I think that's only four. Yeah. Um, but I guess I'll go around and hit a bunch of trees. We have three axes, so I should be able to get through a good amount. And then we'll try to time travel to the next day and get more work done on grinding out materials. So I will see you back shortly. So I used all of my axes that I had and we almost have all of the wood. We're just missing two of the soft wood and I have extra wood, which is good because we'll probably need it for the three plots that we'll do probably in tomorrow's video. But we only got four iron nuggets, so we do have to time travel to the next day. And that's when Timmy will officially ask us to start working on the shop. And we'll probably get the vaulting pole and the shovel recipes tomorrow as well. So yeah, I think without further ado, let's go time travel. Uh, I'm just now realizing we never got the hat from Rod. So maybe we'll find him when we load into the game and get the hat still. I don't know if he'll still give it to us. Ooh, is this our first morning announcements? I think it is. So he's gonna yell at us. Hello, everyone. Oh dear, so sorry about that. The volume was a little loud there. Hello everyone, starting today I'll be doing an island-wide broadcast full of island update going on and such. I'll go over some things that are very important to island life, so lend your island ears for a short time. Now, it's only fitting that we kick off this daily ritual with a doozy of an island announcement. The Cobweb Airport is now open for business! And starting today, you can use online and local communication to fly to other islands for a visit. That's not all. No, no. The airport counter now offers postal services. And just like Resident Services Center, the airport is open 24 hours a day, so please drop by for a look. Oh, and I do have an, one other item to share, and it too is a whooper. Whopper? Whooper. I don't, I don't know. Isn't a whopper a <laughs> Burger King burger? I think it was whooper. But our museum is open for the tent. We probably won't be doing anything with that today, but yeah, it's open. Ooh, and we get our first ever little bottle on the beach. I think it's going to be the end table. I think that's always the first. Oh my god, it's from Chops. Oh, it's the mirror. Okay, good. Because I do want to change our hair. So maybe if we have extra wood later on, we can craft that. But I do see Rod. So maybe he'll give us the hat still. Let's see. Ooh, I think it is the hat. Yes. Okay, I'm excited. I was very sad that we 
didn't get it. But it's it's an explorer hat, which is not really the vibe of the island rod. Get with the program. I think it also makes me look bald. Yeah, we're not wearing that. I'll just place it with all the bugs and fish. There we go. And then we did have some mail. So let's look at that. We have a whole bunch of stuff. So we have something from Jack. We get some stuff from our mom, which I think is our sister fruit. And then we get the misty tea that we bought. And then something from Happy Home Paradise for upgrading our house. Which, by the way, look how cute our house is. With the purple roof. Adorable. But let's see. We got Nook Miles for something. Oh, for upgrading our house. Perfect. Another 500. We should be able to get the pocket expansion today, I think. And actually, we can just take a cute little picture. There we go. And that should give us some miles. Okay, let's open the packages real quick and then we'll get on with grinding out some materials. So we got Jack's portrait and then we got pears. So that's our sister fruit. We got our shirt, which I'll just place right here for now. I don't think I'll wear it because I kind of like the vibes of my shirt I have going on right now. And then I think this is a DIY. Yeah, the wood end table. I knew we got the wood end table at some point in the beginning of the game. Okay, so I think first of all, I'm going to go talk to Blathers and get the recipes for the shovel and the vaulting pole because I do want to craft the vaulting pole today as well. DIYs have been acquired. I think next we'll go to the resident services and talk to Timmy so he can tell us about his dream of building a little shop on the island. We do get a free Nook Miles ticket, so if we need to use that later on to get more iron, we can go out to one. I probably won't be doing the villager hunting in today's video, but we can at least go to one to get more iron nuggets if we need it. But let's talk to Timmy about the shop. Okay, so we need 30 pieces of each type of wood and 30 iron nuggets. We're almost there with the wood. I think we still just need two more pieces of soft wood. And then we need a whole bunch more of iron nuggets. But we will get five free iron nuggets from Rod today. So we'll definitely have to check with him. And then the sisterly villager, Tammy, will give us a like sturdy shovel. So we'll have to talk to both of them today. I just wanted to pop in here real quick to see if they have the bandage. Nope, not again. Okay, they don't have it again. Um, Yeah, nothing else I want to buy. But while I'm in here, I'm going to craft a couple more axes and then I'll go talk to our villagers to get our free items. Tammy just ran up to me and I think she's going to give us the shovel, which will be very helpful so I don't have to craft one. And plus it's the sturdy one, so it won't break after like three hits, which is really nice. So we should be able to get all hits out of the rocks today. Plus another rock should have spawned over on this side of the island because in the first day you only have three rocks and then the second day you get your fourth rock on this side. And then let's talk to Rod. He should want to give us the iron nuggets. Okay, yes, we get five, I believe, five free iron nuggets from him. So in reality, we only really have to collect um, 25 iron nuggets. So I think, how many do we have now? We have nine, so we need 21 more. Let's get to grinding. Let me grab out my shovel. I also desperately need the <laughs> tool ring to help me. But yes, we found our first rock. We should be able to get all hits out of this one today because we got the shovel. And hopefully it gives us some iron nuggets. Okay, we got three out of this one, which isn't too shabby. Okay, here's our next rock. This one is the one that spawned today, which is nice very close to the ones that we had yesterday oh my gosh please okay one iron nugget so far two and three okay three is not horrible i'll take three over none at least and then there should be another rock somewhere down here in this area oh i also just saw our money spot so let's do that real quick too and then we should get nook miles for finding this and then we'll probably get nook miles for hitting our rock eight times as well. So we'll have to check after this. But I'm going to bury 10,000. That way we'll get 30,000 when the tree is fully grown. Okay, so this was a Nook Mile Plus achievement thing. So we got that. So we got 200 for that. And then we should get it for hitting the rock eight times. 500, which is very nice. We only need like 600 more. So that's pretty good. Now we only need 300 more. Maybe this will get us there. Okay, we have 5,000, so we can get the pocket expansion before we go to the next island. And here is our third rock. Let's see how much iron nuggets we get from this one. 
That means the last one over on this side of the island is our money rock. So I'll probably find that and just grab the money from it. Um, but this one gave us two iron nuggets. Okay, so that's 17. So we need, what, 13 more? That's not too bad. Um, I think that's very doable on a Nook Maya Island. But I want to find our last rock and then we can head out to the Nook Maya Island. Actually, I do need to craft a vaulting pole first, though. Before I do that, though, I'm going to hit our money rock. And then I'm going to probably try to make this a habit each day to get more miles, even though I can get money from a treasure island. So maybe we don't need to do this. But for now, since we don't have the treasure island access at this very moment, I'm just going to collect our rock money. And then let's go craft a vaulting pole and then we can go to the Nookma Island. Okay, we've made it to our first ever Nookma Island on this island during this challenge, I guess. I'm kind of excited to see who our villager is if Wilbur will stop blabbering on. Let's see who it is. Oh, it's Deli. Um, I actually like Deli, but I don't want him for this island, so I will not be taking him. And I think we'll go villager hunting tomorrow, which is very exciting because there are definitely a lot of cuties that we can get with um the lazy, normal, and peppy villagers. So I'm excited for that tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to strip this island of all of its resources. I think I said we need 13 iron nuggets, so I feel like we should be able to do that on this island. Let's see how much we get from this rock. So we get one, two, just two. Okay, and a whole lot of clay for some reason. Rock number two. Let's see what we get. Still a whole lot of clay. Okay, two iron nuggets so far. Three iron nuggets. Four. Okay, this one was definitely a whole lot better than the last one. Excuse me, Deli. I'm just going to go ahead and steal all the resources from this island that you're chilling on. Okay. Okay, really a whole lot of clay on this island. But we got two iron nuggets, three iron nuggets, four, five. Okay, cool. So many from this rock. Maybe our next rock will be all iron nuggets. Okay, we only need two more iron nuggets. So hopefully this rock will give us two. Come on, baby. Two iron nuggets. That's all we need. We got one. Okay, we got two. So we have 30 officially. Oh, we got even some extra. Okay, that's good. But we are at all the iron nuggets that we need. We do still need some more softwood, especially because I crafted a vaulting pole, which took, I think, five. So I'm going to run around and hit all the trees to get some extra wood. And hopefully doing that, we can get some more softwood. And then we'll just have some extra wood that we can use for the three plots tomorrow. We officially have 30 iron nuggets and I got a whole bunch of wood and I grabbed all the weeds and cherries and everything so we can sell those as well. But we should have all the materials that we need for the shop. So I guess let's just go home. Like I said, I won't be taking Deli. So we'll just leave him and take all the materials that we gathered. About building a shop. We brought everything, so we would like to donate. Let's see. You brought in, oh my, you brought in everything we need all at once. I sure did. These are for you, my Tim boy. And we will do the honors of helping you place the shop down. He gave me like three wallpapers or something. Those items are always so random that they give you. And we will actually have to decorate the inside of my house, so maybe... One of those wallpapers will actually work, but I think it said pink and blue, which is not the vibe that we're going for. And then before I do anything else, I'm going to stop by the ABD and get the tool ring because we have enough miles for that. So let's purchase this real quick. The tool ring, it's essential. It really is. It's been driving me nuts just going through my inventory trying to find the tool that I want. So I will spare the Nook Miles to buy that for now. We will have to grind a whole bunch of Nook Miles to get all of the terraforming tools and everything that we'll need later on. But we have a couple days till then, so we can do a, lo a lot of grinding up until then. Okay, and then I want to place the shop on the beach over here. So let's pop on over here and see if it will fit down here. Alright, is this the spot? Okay, this does work. Okay, and this is the spot. Perfect beachfront property once again. Lovely. 
But that's going to be the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. Before you leave, make sure to give the video a like, comment, and to subscribe. I hope to see you for the rest of the 30 days. And when the next day is ready, the video will be on screen for you. It should be like right here for you. Yeah, so go ahead and watch that one if it's ready. If not, I will see you tomorrow. But yeah, have a good day, everyone. Bye! Again, I can't wave, so just pretend I'm waving. Bye!